Okay, so for this problem, it says that a five-year loan of $500,000, so again, future value, a oh, present value concept, sorry, dealing with loans. Uh, okay, oh, with an annual effective discount rate of 8% is to be repaid by level end of the year payments. It's a five-year loan. It's already annual, so we don't have to convert the years. What we do have to convert is this effective discount rate to a proper annual effective rate because we can't use a discount rate to compute this. So we're going to set this 1 plus i effective. This i we're trying to find to the equation of a discount rate, right? They're saying the discount rate is 0 0.08, right? to negative one and then minus one, right? So let's find I, right? So I is gonna equal to right, minus one. So it's gonna be so I is gonna be eight point six nine five percent. Yeah, it says over here that if the first four payments have been rounded up to the next multiple of a thousand, the final payment would be X. So when they're speaking of final payment, this gears towards a drop slash balloon payment type concept. We always have to look at certain terminologies that will hint at certain concepts that we need to use to figure out. But they're talking about the first four payments. I mean, what would these first four payments gear towards, right? Well, we already found the effective interest right here. We want to find these level payments that consist of the $500,000 loan, right? So then take my TV I'm going to do 500000 as the present value, 5 as the number of years, 8.695 as the interest rate, 0 as the future value. Let's compute the payment. Payment is going to be 1, 2, 7, 5, 30.55, right? Now they're saying that the first four payments have been rounded up to the next multiple of a thousand, which means that I can round this up to 128,000, right? So now since this is geared towards finding what the final payment is, then we're going to have to set this amount equal to the first four payments that have already been made at the annual effective that we just found, plus the x that we're trying to find, v to the 5, because this is geared towards the last payment that's going to occur. And then we're going to set this equal to the uh, original loan of $500,000, right? So now I can solve this using my TDM right now. I can do 128000 as the payment, 4 as the number of years, 8.695 as the interest rate, 0 as the future value, compute present value. It's going to be 417,475.56. I'm going to subtract it from 560,000. And I'm going to get 417,475.56. I'm going to get 142524.44. Then I'm going to bring this to the other side to find next. So I'm going to multiply by the effective of. 1.08695 to the 5. Now I'm going to find out that since this is a uh, uh, yeah, so again, 128,000. So 417, this and that. So 500,000 minus six. Multiply that by. Six, 
So I'm going to end up getting 125,207 and 52 cents. Okay, cross this down, cross this down, cross this down. So I'm going to end up getting D 